Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, I want to say good evening to you, beloved. As many people that are uh, you know, connected with the broadcast today, this glorious Sunday evening, I say good evening and I say welcome to you to another glorious Sunday evening service on the platform of Clam Prayer Academy Toronto. Glory be to God Almighty. We want to bless God Almighty even for making us to see another wonderful day. For the Lord giving us the grace to see another wonderful week. We bless God for what the Lord Almighty God has been doing in our lives. We thank God for what the Lord I mean, has done since the last time we met on this channel. Hallelujah to the King of Glory. We want to just bless the name of the Lord. God has been so faithful. Our God is committed to our welfare and our well-being at all times. Beloved, I want us to give praise unto God. I want us to thank God. I want us to remember His goodness. You know, I want us to remember His loving kindness. I want us to remember His faithfulness in every area of our lives. Is it about our family members? Is it about our health? Is it about our finances, our businesses? Is it about, you know, the jobs that God Almighty has given into our hands? I want to give God praise. I want to bless God even for the fact that He remains faithful, irrespective of what is going on all around us. God remains faithful because He cannot deny Himself. He's true to His words. Praise the name of the Lord. He is committed to fulfilling His word. Glory be to the name of the Lord. That's why, beloved, I want you to open your mouth and begin to give thanks unto the Lord. I want us to just say something beautiful unto Him. Open your mouth and say something wonderful. Appreciate God. Give Him praise. Give Him thanks. Give Him glory. He's worthy of our praises in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God Almighty has not charged us even for the air that we have been breathing over the years. He has not charged us a dime. If you go to the hospital, you know what it costs for a man to be on oxygen, even for just one hour. Why don't you give God praise? Because God has not charged you for the air that you have been breathing since the day you were born. Even when, since the day you were conceived in your mother's womb. I want us to give God praise. I want us to thank Him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to sing a song of praise unto the Lord Almighty God, a song of appreciation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to sing my own song. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I think all the goodness of Jesus. Yes Lord. And all he has done for me. My very soul shall shout hallelujah. Oh praise God. For saving me when I think, oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, oh, yes, and all he has done for me, my very soul shall shout hallelujah. Praise God for saving me. No, when I think, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, oh yes, and all he has done for me, hallelujah. My very soul shall shout, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, praise God for saving me. Oh, blessed be the name, oh Lord, blessed be your name, hallelujah. Blessed be your name, oh Lord, hallelujah. Blessed be your name, oh Lord God, blessed be your name, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, O Lord God, blessed be the name, hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord, hallelujah. O oh, blessed be the name, O Lord God, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. I give your name, I lift 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 your name, I am. 
Oh, the Lord reigneth, let the earth tremble. He reigneth, let the earth tremble. Our God reigneth, let the earth tremble. He reigneth, let the earth tremble. Our God reigneth, let the earth tremble. He reigneth, let the earth tremble. Our God reigneth, let the earth tremble. He reigneth, let the earth tremble. Hallelujah is a heavenly language. Oh, is a heavenly language. Hallelujah. The language, O oh Lord, is a heavenly. Hallelujah, is a heavenly language. Oh, is a heavenly. Hallelujah, is a heavenly language. Oh, is a heavenly. The Lord is so good. The Lord is so good. The Lord is so good. He's so good. The Lord is so good. The Lord is so good. The Lord is so good. He's so good, the Lord is so good, he's so good in my life, he's so good, the Lord is so good, he's so good in my family, he's so good, the Lord is so good, he's so good in my finances, he's so good, the Lord is so good, the Lord is so good, the Lord is so good. He so good, the Lord is so good, the Lord is so good, the Lord is so good. Oh, he so good, the Lord is so good. 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 He so good. Beloved, I want us to begin to bless His holy name. I want us to lift up our voices and say, "Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord Almighty God." For your grace in my life, thank you, Lord Almighty God, for the favor that you have granted unto me and my family members. Give God praise. I want you to thank God. Bless His holy name. Our Lord is awesome. He's, a, he's an awesome God. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord has made you to see another day, another week. Give Him praise, beloved. Give Him praise. Thank Him. Thank Him. Even for those things that, that he has not yet done, because God will definitely do those things. God, if God has promised, he will bring it to pass. So thank him for what he has done. Thank him for what you know he's doing right now. Thank him for what he has promised to do, because he will surely bring them to pass. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God. Heavenly Father, ancient of days, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the Lord Almighty God who superintends over all situations and circumstances, the Lord that watches over the universe, the Lord Almighty God that has given us the bread of life, the gift of life. Father, we have come to say thank you, Lord Almighty God, for all that you have done in our lives. Father, we have come to say thank you because you are God and there's none like you. Thank you, King of Glory, because we are, we know that you are mindful of us. We thank you, Lord Almighty God. Even for all that you have done concerning our welfare and our well-being, thank you, Lord Almighty God, for being there for us at all times. Thank you, King of Glory, for giving us our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, through whom we have salvation and the, and the gift of eternal life. Thank you, King of Glory, even for saving us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Glory, because we know that we are, your, we are qualified as your children. Glory be to your name forever in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I will thank you, Lord Almighty God, for your daily benefits in our lives for the blessings, for the shouts of blessings, for security, for protection, for preserving us, for providing for our needs, for defending us, even when we are not able to defend ourselves. Thank you, Father, for being our help, even in ages past, being our help even right now. Thank you, God Almighty, because we know, Lord Almighty God, that with you, Lord, we have confidence that all shall be well in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you once again. We have come to be blessed of you. And we pray, Lord Almighty God, that today, today you will bless us in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that in any way that we have run short of thy glory, in any way, Almighty God, that we have fallen into any form of error, in any way that we have sinned, O Lord Almighty God, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you have mercy upon us and forgive us in Jesus' precious name. In the name of Jesus, Father, accept our praise and worship. Let it be a sweet smelling salvo unto you, Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let your name, O Lord, be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blessings of today, O Lord Almighty God, be ours in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, everlasting King of glory. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. Settled. Praise God. Hallelujah. Once again, I welcome you to a Sunday evening service, Climb Prayer Academy, Toronto. We are reaching from our studios to the glory of God. We bless God for what God is doing on this mountain. It's been 
and your wonderful experiences with us god almighty has i mean proven himself that he's the one behind this commission and we give him all the praise we give him all the glory we give him all the adoration for what god almighty has promised to do even through this mountain on the altar of this mountain glory be to the name of the lord i pray for you beloved in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth that what the lord almighty god has proposed to do even through this channel through this mountain i pray for you that in the name of jesus christ of nazareth you will be a beneficiary even of the blessings of the lord in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for you in the name of jesus christ that god almighty will send a testimony and a miracle your way in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise god Today, to the glory of God, we know that today, this is, I mean, today is the last Sunday, you know, the last Sunday in the month of February. We bless God for what the Lord has done. I mean, since the beginning of this month of February, it's been awesome. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And um, we have come, this is the, I mean, last Sunday, and we, we need to just give God praise and thanks for He has made us to see the last Sunday in the month of February. To the glory of his name amen and of course it's uh it's, it's i mean god is bringing us to a glorious ending okay a glorious ending even to close up the month for us hallelujah praise god remember beloved from today we have just about two days to go even in the month of i mean uh, february does two days to go but listen to me god is capable of doing the impossible even between now and the end of this month between now and when the door of this month will be closed between and when the door of february will be shut god can still do the impossible god can still give you a reason to testify before the end of this month he can put a testimony in your mouth you know that will give you that happy ending that you have so much desire praise the name of the lord and that is what god is going to do for you today that's what god is, god is going to do for me today in the name of the lord jesus christ you know this to me you have been praying unto god concerning a particular matter praise god Oh, it, February has come. You have been praying that, Lord, I want this thing before the end of February. Oh, two days to the end of February. Don't give up. Praise God. God can still answer that prayer request. Glory be to the name of the Lord. God can still answer that prayer request. Praise God. Don't give up. Trust the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to me. He has reserved the best for you to round up the month. He has reserved the best, okay, to round off this month for you. He has, I mean, he has reserved the best for the last. Hallelujah. He reserved the best for the last for you to round off the month of February. Praise God. Hallelujah. How do I know this? John chapter 2, verse 1, to, verse 1 to 11. John chapter 2, verse 1 to 11. We are all familiar, you know, with Jesus Christ's first miracle. The first miracle that Jesus Christ did in, you know, in Cana of Galilee when he turned water into wine. Praise the name of the Lord. I'll just read uh, verse 10 and verse 11 of that scripture. And he said to him, John chapter 2 verse 10. And he said to him, Every man at the beginning sets out the good wine, and when the guests have well drunk, then the inferior. You have kept the good wine until now. Praise God. Verse 11 says, This beginning of science Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed even in him. Praise God. Jesus turned water into wine. The, you know, the chairman of that occasion, when he tasted the wine, you know, that was what he said in death. Oh, wow. At, at every at every man at the beginning of at, at, at the beginning of any occasion you know any party any reception sets out the good wine he was talking to you know the i mean the bridegroom of, the, of of that particular wedding he said every man at the beginning sets out the good wine and when the guests have well drunk then the inferior he said but you have kept the good wine up till now praise god you have kept the good wine up till now, praise God, by that miracle that Jesus Christ did. That man said, oh, you have kept. He did not know that it was water that was turned into wine by the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But the bottom line, he said, he said, and you have kept the good wine up till now. I want to pray for you, beloved, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that before the door of this month is shut, God will give you the best for the last in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the next 48 hours or thereabout, before the door of this month of February is shut permanently, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God will give you the best even for the last in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That thing which you have not been able to achieve, the best of that which would could have I mean, gotten from God this month of February. God has actually reserved it for the last. I pray for you that testimony that God has reserved for the best of the best that He has reserved for you for the last. Receive that testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for you, beloved, that God will crown this month for you with His goodness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He will crown this month for you with His goodness in the name of the Lord Jesus. As we round up this month of February. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the best gift that you could, I mean, you could have received from anyone, the best of the best, let the Lord Almighty God deliver it into your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed the thanks of him. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, for today, beloved, we have a topic that we want to look at today. Praise God. The topic that we're looking at today, I have titled, Be Strategic in Your Approach. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Be Strategic in Your Approach. Be Strategic in Your Approach. Now, there's a wise saying. There's a saying that it's only a foolish man that, that continues to do the same thing, okay? One thing the same way and expects, you know, different results. Doing the same thing, the same thing, doing it the same way and expecting different results. That's, I mean, it's only a foolish man, okay, that has such expectation. Praise God. Now, you need to understand that the world has evolved over the years. Things are happening. Technology has taken the world to another dimension, another level. You know, and it's no more business as usual. No more business as usual. Things, new things, new technology, new ideas are springing up by the day. Praise God. You know, for you, so for you to be ahead of others, for you to be, you know, to be able to compete favorably, even in the events of these days, praise God, you have to be something, I mean, you must bring in something different. You must bring in an extra into that which you do. You must bring in something different so that you can be much more effective, you know, in your, in your execution. Praise God. Praise God. So for you to hit your target with exemplary results, there must be something different and more effective in your approach or execution. Praise God. That is what will make you to be competitive in whatever you do. Praise God. Now, hard work leads to great success. So they say. But the reality now is that it is no more about hard work alone, but hard work done in smart ways. Hallelujah. Hard work done win smart ways. Praise God. You must bring smartness into your hard work so that it will not just be sweat and struggle. Praise the name of the Lord. A lot of invention, you know, with invention, new technologies, new creations, new opportunities, you know, new IT ideas are coming in by the day. Praise God. So you must be able to, you know, I mean, engage this technical technicalities, engage this new, you know, the new, this new trend of events, so that you may remain competitive, so that you may you will remain relevant in your sphere of influence. Praise the name of the Lord. You must make up your mind to be strategic in whatever you do this year. From this moment, you must make up your mind that you want to be strategic throughout this year. Praise God. So that you will not be achieving and recording the same old story. Glory be to the name of the Lord. So you must make up your mind that you must be strategic in whatever you do, whatever you do, whatever your vocation is, your business, your, you know, your, 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 your job, your area of interest, whatever it is that you do, you must take a step, you know, further and, I mean, become strategic even in your approach towards the way you do that thing glory be to the name of the lord hallelujah praise god now first corinthians chapter 9 verse 26 <coughs> sorry first corinthians chapter 9 second corinthians chapter 9 verse actually is uh, from verse 24 to verse 26 27 sorry verse 24 to 27 first corinthians chapter 9 verse 20 verse 24 to 26 praise god but i'm going to zero in into verse 26 but let me read the whole uh, scripture now verse 24 says do you not know that those who run in a race all run but one receives the price run in such a way that you may obtain it and everyone who competes for the price is temperate in all things now they do it to obtain a perishable crown for we for but we for an imperishable crown verse 26 therefore i run thus not with uncertainty Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air. Verse 27 says, But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself become, no, I, I myself should become disqualified. Now my emphasis is on verse 26. I want us to look at this scripture together. Verse 26. That is the core even of the message that we are looking at today. Verse 26 says, Therefore I run thus, not with uncertainty does I fight, not as one who beats the air. Let me take that again. Therefore, I run thus, not with uncertainty does I fight, not as one who beats the air. Praise God. Now, what is Apostle Paul saying in this scripture? 
Apostle Paul is painting a picture of someone throwing, you know, throwing blows at another or something he cannot see. Praise God. It's a picture of somebody who's, you know, who is trying to throw, a, a, I mean, try to box someone, try to throw, a, I mean, a blow at someone. But the person he or she is throwing a blow at, or that thing that is throwing a blow at, he cannot see. Why? Because his, his face, I mean, his, his face is covered. Praise God. So he does not, the, the target that is straight up, he can't see that target. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. So, I mean, like a blindfolded man is trying to hit a target without knowing where and what that target is. That is what this scripture is talking about. A man trying to, you know, throw a bow blow at a target or at someone that he cannot see. Praise God. It will actually be, you no, know, at the end of the day, it will be effort in, I mean, it will become effort in futility. You are trying to hit a, a target that you cannot see. You are trying to hit a target that you don't know. I mean, you don't know the position of the target. You don't know what the target is. It will only because you'll be it's like you'll be throwing your punches even in the wind. Praise God, because you don't have. I said you don't have a picture. You don't have you know the target, a picture of where the target is or what the target is. Praise the name of the Lord. It will be all efforts in futility. That's what that scripture of Apostle Paul is trying to say in that scripture. Praise God. So whatever it is that a man wants to do. You must be strategic about it. Praise God. You must know what your target is. You must know where your target is. You must know how to go about addressing or throwing that point even at that target. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Now the question is, beloved, what are your goals this year? Where do you want to go? What do you want to achieve? Praise God. These are the questions that I have for you, beloved. Now, what do you have to do to get there? Now, number one, I said, what are your goals for this year? Where do you want to go? I mean, where, where, where do you want to go this year? What do you want to achieve this year? What is the level that you want to get to this year? Praise God. The next question is, what do you have to do to get there? What do you have to do to get to that place that you want to go to? What route do you have to take to get there? Praise God. What path must you go through for you to get there? What route must you take to get to that place that you desire to be? Praise God. Do you need to acquire new skills? knowledge new know-how what weight do you have now to shed what weight do you have to share to make the journey easier and faster what are those things what are the you know what are the weights that, that, that are on point you that may slow you down even in the course of that journey do you have to shed those weights are, are there things you must throw away are there, are, are there things that you must discontinue with are there things that you must you know just close your eyes to so that you can be lighter for the journey i mean that that's before you praise god now, another one, who must you talk to to get there? Who are the people that you must talk to? Praise God. Who are the people that must hold you by your right hand, and even through that journey to help you to the place of, you know, that, that, that your place of, of, of interest, that your destination? Who are the people that you must talk to? Who are the people that must hold you by the hand in order for you to have, you know, an easier journey to the place that you have to go to? Praise the name of the Lord. All those things, I sum them up and I call them strategy. Praise God. These are them, these are things that you must that with all these things that we have analyzed, there are things that will come together to become strategy, and that's why I said you must be strategic. When you put those things in place, when you look at these issues, begin to address them one after the other, then you are being strategic in your approach towards your journey this year. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to pray this prayer for someone who will say amen. The strategy you need to do things differently for better results. Let the Lord open your eyes to those strategies in the name of the Lord Jesus. Those things that you must do. Those things that you need to be able to do things differently for you to achieve better results. For you to get to your place of purpose, your place of fulfillment this year. I pray for you that God will open your eyes, able to see those things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The strategy that you must adopt for you to get to the place of destiny, to the place of fulfillment. That the strategy you must adopt for you to get better results. The results that you desire this year, receive that strategy in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let God open your eyes to the things that you must do in the name of the Lord Jesus. The skills that you must acquire, let God Almighty speak to you concerning them in the name of the Lord Jesus. People that you must be connected with that will help lift up the hand of your Moses. Let God connect you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The, 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 the way that you must shed for you to be able to travel light. Let God Almighty open your eyes to those ways that must be shed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus. The route that you must take to get to your Canaan land, to get to the land of promise, 
in the name of Jesus. Christ. Let God open your eyes to that route in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The skills that you must acquire, go forth and acquire those skills in in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' precious name, amen. Praise God. Now, Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. Psalm 32, verse 8. I will say, I will instruct you and lead you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eyes. That's what David was saying. And this is the word of the Lord Almighty God. Unto David said, I will instruct you and lead you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eyes. Praise the name of the Lord. So the journey that you have embarked upon this year, God is going to instruct you. He's going to give you, you know, the strategy. He's going to lead you in the way that you should go and he will guide you with his eyes. Praise God. This is what God will do for you. Hallelujah to the King of Glory. I pray for you, beloved, that divine instruction for your next level divine instructions for your next higher level let the lord open your eyes to those divine you know instructions in the name of the lord jesus christ let god open your eyes to those divine instructions in the name of the lord jesus christ those instructions will form part of the strategy that you will need for you to travel on that journey and for you to make success of your efforts this year praise god he said i will instruct you it will, will give you divine instruction put to form part of the strategy praise god he said it will lead you in the way that you should go praise god and god will give you direction it's part of the strategy praise god and then he will guide you with his eyes divinely he will give you support because he's God. He will guide you with so that even when you want to stray away from the path that he has, I mean, I mean, said before you, God Himself will order you back and bring you back on track. Praise God. That is what God is going to do for you, beloved, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God will instruct you in the name of Jesus. You will not miss God's divine instruction concerning that which you must do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The strategy that you need, beloved, to achieve that project this year, I pray for you, God Almighty will put that strategy in your hands in the name of Jesus. God will speak to you. It will open your eyes. Even to those things that you must do for you to achieve that result in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody say Amen. Say louder, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now I want us to look at a classic example in the Bible. A classic example of someone you know who adopted a strategy. You know that was he had a desire, he had a goal. Praise God, and he adopted the strategy. Okay, for him to be able to achieve because there were stumbling blocks before him. Okay, there were hindrances before him, so he had, he, you know, he adopted the strategy. Praise God! He put a strategy in place that enabled him to achieve that which he desired. Praise God! And who is this person? We are talking about the man Zacchaeus. Praise God! I know we are, we are very familiar with this story, the story of Zacchaeus, the short man. Hey, hallelujah! The tax collector. Praise God! And I, we are going to look at this this classic example, able to establish, you know, the, this issue of being strategic in our approach to issues. Praise God! Now, Luke chapter nineteen, verse one to ten. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Luke chapter 19, verse 1 to 10. Luke 19, 1 to 10. Luke 19, 1 to 10 says, Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now, behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was of short stature. Now note that he was of short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay in your house. Verse 6 says, So he made haste and came down and received him, with, and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He has gone to, the, to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Lord God, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I've taken anything from anyone, by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham. Verse 10, For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save which, to that which was lost. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now listen, beloved. Zacchaeus, the chief tax collector, had a desire in his heart. He wanted to see Jesus Christ. He had a desire. He has heard so much about Jesus Christ and he had a desire okay, to see the Lord Jesus Christ. That is seen in verse 1. Praise God. Now, if we look at verse 3 of that scripture, it says, but verse 3 of that scripture says, but he sought to see Jesus who he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd. For he was a short, he was of short status. So he was a, I mean, he started, he was short. 
Praise God. That was a disadvantage. Praise God. Even before him in his cause, in his desire to see the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. There was a major obstacle before Zacchaeus. It was a short man. He was of little stature. Praise God. Now, he was disadvantaged because of his stature. Praise God. Because as we, there was a crowd that was around Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So Zacchaeus was disadvantaged because of his stature and because of the crowd that was about Jesus Christ. But listen to me. Zacchaeus did not give up. He didn't give up. Ordinarily, I mean, it, it was the crowd and, you know, the, the, his, his stature, the crowd. I mean, those things were enough to discourage a normal human being. But Zacchaeus did not give up. Rather, what did he do? He ran ahead of the crowd and climbed a sycamore tree, knowing that Jesus was going to pass through that way. He ran ahead of the crowd. He climbed a sycamore tree. Can you imagine? A tax collector. Praise the name of the Lord. He was a man of integrity. He was a rich man. Praise God. So he ran ahead of the crowd. He climbed the sycamore tree because he knew that Jesus was going to pass through that way. As seen in verse 4. Verse 4 actually told us that Jesus Christ was going to pass through that way. And, and Zacchaeus ran ahead of the crowd and did what? Climbed the sycamore tree because he knew that Jesus was going to what? pass through that place. That was a strategy. Praise God. It was a strategy. He knew that he could not achieve what he needed to achieve because of the crowd and because of the statue, but he was not discouraged. He moved ahead of the crowd. He climbed a sycamore tree and he knew that with that particular positioning, he would be able to see the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to the name of the Lord. All he wanted to see, to do, was to see Jesus Christ. He wanted to see Jesus. And he knew that from that position on the sycamore tree, he would be able to see Jesus Christ of Nazareth, which would have fulfilled his desire. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, he repositioned himself by climbing the sycamore tree. Can I pray this prayer for someone? Any disadvantaged position that you are now, depriving you of your desired achievement, I pray for you, receive the grace to reposition yourself in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From that disadvantaged position, the grace for you to be repositioned so that you can achieve those things that you desire, receive that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, beloved, let the hand of Almighty God reposition you for you to be able to achieve that desire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if you are you know, a victim of environmental or organizational mediocrity, if you're a victim of environmental or organizational mediocrity, you're a victim of organizational limitation, environmental limitation, and thereby limiting your ability to rise above a particular level, I pray for you that God will reposition you in the name of the Lord Jesus. God will reposition you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are a victim of environmental limitation. And you are a victim of territorial limitation. And I pray for you today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God will reposition you in the name of Jesus. And if that's your the, the environmental limitation, the territorial limitation is limiting your manifestation. Today, I pray for you. Let God Almighty reposition you in the name of Jesus Christ. God will reposition you in the name of Jesus. God will reposition you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will reposition you in the name of Jesus. I said, God will reposition you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody say, Amen. Say it louder, Amen. Now, what happened to Zacchaeus when he repositioned himself? Verse 5 of that scripture makes us to understand that he saw Jesus in fulfillment of his desire. Like I said earlier on, his desire was to see Jesus. By repositioning himself, repositioning himself from, you know, from staying with the crowd and climbing the sycamore tree, number one, he saw Jesus, which was a fulfillment, okay, of his heart desire. Praise God. Number two, what happened when he saw that he caught Jesus' attention. He was able to catch Jesus' attention. Praise God. Because where he was, there was no way anyone was going to miss him because he was in a tree. And it was a strange, of course, it was a strange thing to behold a man on a, on a tree, a short man on the tree. More so, somebody who was of great repute in that, in that particular location. Praise the name of the Lord. So he caught Jesus' attention. What happened thereafter? He received divine visitation of the Lord because Jesus Christ said, Today I will be in your house. So he received divine visitation of the Almighty, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I mean, paid a divine visit even to his house, something he did not plan for. Praise God. From just wanting to see Jesus, number one, he caught the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ paid him a divine visitation. And what happened? Zacchaeus repented of his sins there and then in verse 8. He repented. He said, oh, if I have given my, I've given my good to, to the poor, if I'm have, if have owing anybody anything, I'm ready to return that thing even in, in, in folds. Praise God. So he repented of his sins. Can you imagine, praise God, by just repositioning himself, he did what? He repented of his sins. And what happened to him in verse 9? 
Jesus Christ said, today salvation is coming into this house. Glory to God. Zacchaeus, praise God, from you know his from his activity of you know of of, of principle of, of I mean of, it was of course it was not it was it was somebody who was not like tax collectors collectors were not were not loved by the people praise God because people believed that that their ways were too hard praise God so that day he received his salvation because Jesus Christ said today salvation has come into his house and Jesus Christ of Nazareth visited uh, uh, Zacchaeus and Zacchaeus became a new person he got the salvation and he became a born again praise the name of the Lord can I pray for someone today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth the repositioning the strategy that will make you to achieve your result that will make you to achieve your heart desires and that will make Make you to become a celebrity. Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive that, that, that the grace to to to, uh, to 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 engage that 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 strategy, that repositioning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Many of us desire to see the glory of God. Many of us want to experience God's divine visitation. We want to encounter the power of the Most High God. We desire to live a fulfilled life and be prosperous in life. We want to have a prosperous life. We want, you know, we, we we want to enjoy the goodness of God. We want to enjoy the blessings of the Almighty God. But these things have remained elusive. Why? Because of one very important factor. We are not well positioned to receive them. Glory to God. We are not well positioned to do what to receive those things. Praise God. Maybe because of wrong location, wrong relationship, wrong academic position, and so many other things that could have been responsible for our inability to receive those things that we desire because of wrong positioning. Praise the name of the Lord. If we look at the story of this man, Zacchaeus, the rich man, I mean, he was a rich man. Praise God. A man of a great repute. Rich man. I mean, chief tax collector. Rich man in, by all standards. But he had a disadvantage, but a disadvantage, you know, uh, 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 I mean, a disadvantage, you know, physical structure, a disadvantage, physical appearance. Praise God, but he was a short man. He was rich by human standard, but there was a vacuum in his life that nothing else could fill except an encounter with the King of Glory. He was lost among the crowd. Now hear this. He was lost among the crowd when he was with the crowd. He could not see Jesus Christ. He was lost among the crowd until he made a move to separate himself and reposition himself. He was, long, he was lost among the crowd, but he made a move. He separated himself. He ran ahead of the crowd and he repositioned himself on what? On the sycamore tree. Many of us are lost in the crowd and until we make a move to separate from the crowd and reposition ourselves, we may never be able to attract the kind of attention that our destiny, I mean, uh, needs. Praise God. Many of us, we are we have become part and part of the, we are, we are part of the crowd. Praise God. There's nothing unique about it. We are part of the crowd and until we make a move to separate from the crowd, until we decide to move away from the crowd and reposition ourselves, we may never be able to attract the right kind of attention that our heart desires. The right kind of attention that will make, you know, our destiny to be fulfilled, the kind of strategy, okay, that will make us to achieve that which we must achieve, we may not be able to achieve that. Praise God. Now, Zacchaeus was strategic and deliberate in his approach towards realizing his desire. He was what strategic and deliberate in his approach towards realizing his desire. Now, if you continue with the crowd, beloved, you may end up being sucked in. Praise God. When you continue with the crowd, you may end up being sucked in and end up as just part of the crowd. Glory to God. You just the crowd will just suck you in and you just become part of the crowd. Amongst all the people that follow Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that's that that faithful day. A large crowd. The only distinct, you know, uh, event, the only distinct thing that was recorded concerning that crowd was, I mean, was, the, I mean, Zacchaeus, who repositioned himself, who climbed the sycamore tree. That was the major thing that was eventful, even in that particular move of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise God. Hallelujah. Nothing was said about the crowd. There was no mention of any single person, any single individual amongst that crowd. But Zacchaeus, because he repositioned himself, he, in fact, he actually became the star of that particular journey of our Lord Jesus Christ. He took advantage of the opportunity that presented itself at that time. He took advantage. Oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth was passing by. He knew he could not see Jesus even by staying with the crowd. He went ahead of Jesus Christ. He climbed the sycamore tree. He took advantage of the opportunity that Jesus Christ was passing through that place. So he made that move. He, he took advantage of that opportunity. And that opportunity gave him his heart desire. I pray for you, beloved, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Grace for you to take advantage of opportunities that present themselves. Receive that grace in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
God will send opportunities your way. I pray for you that the grace for you to say, take, I mean, take advantage of such opportunities. Like, receive that grace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, say amen. Yeah. Now, Zacchaeus was sensitive enough to realize he was not going to achieve his desire at that location where he was. He was sensitive enough. He responded to that nudge by running ahead of the crowd. Now, to position yourself for your blessing, you must be sensitive enough to environment. Zacchaeus was sensitive to the fact that he was not going to be able to see Jesus uh, even if he stayed with the crowd. Praise God. So, so also, beloved, in order for you to be strategic, eh, you must what you must you must know how to position yourself very well. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. To position yourself for your blessing, you must be sensitive enough to your environment. For you to position yourself for that which you desire, you must be sensitive to your environment. You must be sensitive to people around you. You must be sensitive to opportunities that may present themselves even around that place. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you must know how to respond to prevailing situations and circumstances. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for you to respond to opportunities. Receive that grace in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ, uh, grace for you to respond to opportunities. Uh, receive that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, say amen. Say louder, amen. Now, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1. Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1 says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Praise God. Not on the ground where everyone else is. No, you must separate from the crowd. Not where everybody is. If you want to achieve something different, you must be strategic about your approach. Praise the name of the Lord. It's not on the ground where everyone else is, but on the tower, the higher ground, higher than the lower ground. Praise God. Higher than the level ground. That's what the that's what this scripture is saying. I will start upon my watch. I will set myself upon the tower, not on the ground where every other person is. Praise God. He said he will set himself on the tower. I will want to see what God. God will say unto you, then he will know how to answer. Praise God. He was not going to, Abak was not going to stay on the ground with every other person. He will, he, said, he will stand upon his word and set upon the tower. Praise the name of the Lord. Not on the ordinary ground. Hallelujah. Praise God. That was a strategy to be able to hear God expressly and for him to know how to answer back when God speaks. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I pray for you, beloved, that God will set you on higher ground in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God set you on higher ground in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God set you on higher ground in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I believe someone is being blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17 says, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Praise God. If you are in the midst of a wrong association, until you separate from them and reposition yourself, God will not engage you to bless you. Praise God. If you are in the wrong association, wrong gathering, wrong environment, you and you until you separate yourself and reposition yourself, you may not, you may not, you may not achieve that desired result. And I pray for you today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the relationship that you must separate from, let God Almighty separate you from them in the name of the Lord Jesus. God will separate from relationships that are fruitless and unprofitable profitable that are not relevant to your desired result in the name of Jesus Christ. Relationships that are more of bodies unto you, that are not much more, more of body and assets to you, God would God, God will separate from such relationships in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for you, beloved, in the name of Jesus, that God will deliver you from every bandwagon effect in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From every bad bandwagon effect, God will deliver you in the name of the Lord Jesus. As you reposition yourself for success this year, beloved, as you reposition yourself even for success this year, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God Almighty will reposition you by His great and mighty power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for you, beloved, in the name of Jesus, that the strategy you need for you to to, to forge ahead in life, the strategy you need for you to be able to achieve that long-term result and desire, receive grace to come up with that strategy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, you will not be stranded in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be stranded in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, I want you to understand. I want you to know, if you look at the story of this man, Zacchaeus, the chief tax collector, I mean, he, he was he he was so the, what he did was so simple praise god he but you know he was so sensitive he he put on his thinking cap 
you know, he was sensitive to that environment. He was sensitive to that situation. He knew that, you know, he, 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 he identified, you know, the obstacles that we had before him. He was short, praise God. So there was no way, if I was, if maybe he would have been trampled upon. Praise God. Maybe he would have been stepped upon if he had actually dared to go into the midst of the crowd. Glory be to the name of the Lord. So he identified the obstacles that were before him. Number one, he was a, a man of loss, I mean, of, 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 of a short statue. Praise God. Number two, he saw that there were so many people happy. You no, know, the crowd, everybody milled around Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everybody wanted to have a glimpse of Jesus. Everybody wanted, everybody wanted to have, you know, um, wanted to be identified with Jesus even on that particular trip to Jericho. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So he knew that he was not, but he had a desire because he had had so much about the Lord Jesus. Who is this man? I also want to have a glimpse of this man. Praise God. The singular desire in his heart was to just see Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But because he repositioned himself, he brought in that strategy. Oh, what can I do? Okay, let me, he ran ahead of, you know, the crowd, climbed the sycamore tree strategically. He repositioned himself. And number one, the first thing he achieved his desire to do was to see Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He saw Jesus Christ all right, praise God. And when Jesus was passing by, Jesus lifted up his, it was not Zacchaeus that called Jesus Christ of Nazareth, praise God. He did not call Jesus, but Jesus Christ himself saw Zacchaeus on the tree and said, oh, Zacchaeus, he said, come down because today salvation is going to come into your house. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I mean, after, you know, getting the fulfillment of his desire, he got so many other things. Praise the name of the Lord. He, Jesus Christ did not plan to go into the house of Zacchaeus, but because of the fact that he was repositioned, so much that Jesus Christ saw him, I mean, he, he attracted, you know, and, and arrested Jesus Christ's attention. Jesus Christ paid him an unscheduled, uh, unscheduled uh, visitation. Praise God. And on uh, planned visit, on un, unscheduled visit, Jesus Christ of Nazareth paid Zacchaeus that visit and praise God. Amen. And what happened thereafter? He repented because the presence of Jesus Christ of Nazareth convicted him, praise God. He repented of his sins. And what happened? The major gift, the best gift that any man could ever, ever receive, salvation. He got the gift of salvation that same day. His soul was what was saved. From just wanting to see Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he achieved a much, much, much better achievement by being saved by that particular encounter. I pray for someone today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, when you reposition yourself, when you adopt a strategy towards that which you want to desire, towards that which you desire to fulfill, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, much more than you desire. Let the Lord Almighty God put in your hands in the name of Jesus. Remember, Ephesians 3 20 says, So unto his God. God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which we may ask or think according to the path that works in us. I pray for you, beloved, in the name of the Lord Jesus, as you strategically approach the remaining days this year, as you reposition yourself even for that which you did to be able to achieve that goal, that desire. I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, naturally, beyond your expectation, beyond your desire. After the order of what Zacchaeus received, receive them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, who is able to give you much more than you desire, not much more than you expected, that same God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He will visit you with multiple and manifold manifestations of that which you desire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hundredfold of that which you desire, God will put in your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, God will put in your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth, through this year, you will not travel through this year in vain in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus, as you adopt a strategy, even towards the remaining days this year, as you adopt a strategy in your approach towards your work, your family, your business, and everything that concerns you, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will achieve results in the mighty name of Jesus, results beyond your expectations. Result beyond your investment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God will give you those results in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, God will give you those results in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, beloved, I want us to pray a few prayers before we close, you know, uh, for today's business. I want us to pray some prayers. Hallelujah. And I believe God Almighty. As you, you know, propose in your mind, even to be strategic in your approach, even to your life, to your business, your work, your family, your endeavor, your health, 
everything about you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God Almighty will get you divine visitation in the name of Jesus. According to um, Psalm 32 verse 8, God will instruct you. He will lead you in the way that you go and he will guide you with all, with his eyes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It shall be well with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, I want us to just begin to thank God today because we're going to pray some few prayers. And we'll close shop for the day. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank God. Begin to appreciate God even for the word that He has sent even unto us today. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Then give Him praise. Let's appreciate God for the word that we have received today. The word concerning being strategic, the ability for us to reposition ourselves. Begin to thank God. Give God praise. Begin to thank God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you today. We thank you. We bless your holy name, O Lord, our heavenly Father, for the grace that you have given unto us, Lord. Even to be, I mean, for us, the, the grace you have given unto us to, to, to hear this word today so that we can reposition ourselves so that we can be more strategic even in our approach toward everything that we do. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we appreciate in the name of Jesus. The knowledge that you have given unto us today for us to reposition ourselves for success. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. Lord, we glorify your holy name today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want us to begin to ask the Lord Almighty God that in any way, you know, Zacchaeus repented of his sins and he got his salvation that same day. I want us to begin to ask, Lord, in any way that we have sinned, in any way that we have transgressed every error in our lives, Lord, in any way that we have run short of your glory, that we have fallen short of your glory, Father, any sin that may stand against, against us, against, our, against your divine visitation for our lives, Father, we ask, oh Lord, that you have mercy upon us and forgive us in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to ask for mercy from the Almighty God, let's begin to ask that the blood of Jesus will cleanse us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's ask that the Lord will cleanse us today, that He will forgive our sins in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, my heavenly Father, Father, today in any way that we have sinned against you, Lord, in our thoughts, in our actions, in the words of our mouth, Father, have mercy and forgive us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, have mercy and forgive us in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to confess those sins, whatever they are, that, that the Lord Almighty will have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. Remember, First John chapter 1 verse 9 says if we confess our sins god is faithful to forgive us and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness let's begin to ask the lord almighty god father have mercy O lord almighty god in the name of jesus have mercy O lord upon me in the name of jesus for my sins and my thoughts my actions from the words of my mouth lord, have mercy upon me in the name of the lord jesus christ of Nazareth. have mercy O lord cleanse me by the precious blood of jesus christ in the name of jesus in jesus precious name we have prayed Amen. Say this last say this prayer after me, beloved. Say grace to be strategic in my work. Grace to be strategic in my work in my business, in my approach to life. Father, let that grace rest upon me in the name of Jesus. Begin to ask that the Lord will release the grace for you to be able to be strategic in your work, your business, in your approach to life. In the name of Jesus, let God release that grace upon you now in the name of Jesus. Father, release the grace upon me, the grace to be strategic in my work, in my business, in my approach to life. Father, let that grace rest upon me in the name of Jesus. Let that grace rest upon you, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let that grace Rest upon me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Beloved, I want you to pray that prayer. Pray from the bottom of your heart. Grace to be strategic in your work, in your business, in your approach to life. Let that grace rest upon you. Ask the grace that I ask the Lord to give to release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, release the grace upon me. Grace to be strategic in my approach to life. Today to be strategic in my work, in my business. Grace to be strategic concerning my health, my finances. Grace to be strategic in my marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, grant me that grace in the name of Jesus. Grant me that grace, Lord. I receive that grace, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, grant me that grace, Lord. In the name of Jesus, grant me that grace, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, I ask for Lord for that grace, Lord Almighty God. Grace to reposition myself for better results. Oh Lord, grant me that grace in the name of Jesus. Father, grace to reposition myself even for greater achievements, for greater results. Oh Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, release that grace upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Release that grace upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Release that grace upon me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, release that grace upon me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, release that grace upon me now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Now we are going to ask 
that the Lord will reposition us, that God Himself will reposition us so that our 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 destiny helpers can locate us. Praise God. God, where we are today, we are not well positioned. That's why we are not getting help and helpers from people. Where that's why we're not getting help from people. That's why I mean help destiny helpers are not locating us. So we want to ask God, Lord, reposition me, reposition my work, even for divine divine helpers to locate me in the name of Jesus. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, reposition me for divine helpers to locate me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, relocate me, oh Lord, reposition me, oh Lord Almighty God, even for divine helpers to locate me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, reposition me, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, reposition my business, my business, my work in the name of Jesus for divine helpers, oh Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, reposition me in the name of Jesus, even for divine help us to look at me in the name of Jesus. Divine help us to look at me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Say this that I say, Oh Lord, my Father, reposition me for divine opportunities in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, relocate me. Oh Lord, reposition me even for divine opportunities. Able to look at me in the name of Jesus. Reposition me, relocate me for divine opportunities. Oh Lord, my Father, relocate me, reposition me for divine opportunities in the name of Jesus. For me to be connected with divine opportunities. Oh Lord, reposition me. Oh Lord, relocate me in the name of Jesus. For me to connect with divine opportunities in the name of Jesus. For divine opportunities to connect with me. Oh Lord, reposition me. Oh Lord, relocate me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, reposition me, O Lord, for divine opportunities in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I don't want to miss divine opportunities anymore. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father. Reposition me for divine opportunities in the name of the Lord Jesus. Reposition me, O Lord Almighty God, for we have opportunities will come my way, O Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to identify opportunities and to take advantage of them in the name of Jesus. Lord, grant me the grace to identify opportunities and to take advantage of opportunities that come my way in the name of Jesus. I receive grace to identify opportunities in the name of Jesus and to take advantage advantage of those opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive grace in the name of Jesus to identify opportunities that come my way and take full advantage of those opportunities in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Now say this prayer, beloved. Say, I will not be lost in the crowd in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, separate me from the crowd in the name of Jesus. Separate me, oh Lord, from unprofitable gathering in the name of Jesus and from unprofitable association. Oh Lord, separate me in the name of Jesus. I will not be lost in the crowd in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, wherever I am, O oh Lord Almighty God, that is hindering my progress. Oh Lord, my Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, separate me from them in the name of Jesus. Separate me, O oh Lord. Separate me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Whatever I'm engaged in, O oh Lord Almighty God, that is not allowing my life to move forward. Oh Lord, separate me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, separate me even from people who are not adding value to my life, O oh Lord Almighty God. People who are rather weak that are people who have turned them into liabilities and wait upon my life, not allowing my life to move forward in the right direction, not allowing my life to move forward even with the divine spirit. Oh Lord, separate me from them in the name of Jesus. Father, separate me now. Oh Lord, 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 separate me now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, I will not be lost in the crowd in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be lost among the crowd in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I refuse to join the bandwagon in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be just a part of the crowd in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, separate me in the name of Jesus. Separate me for success, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Separate me for lift, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, single me out for divine favor in the name of Jesus. Single me out, oh Lord, for divine favor. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, single me out for your divine visitation. In the name of Jesus, Lord, visit me by your mercy, oh Lord, my Father. Separate me, oh Lord, my God, and visit me, oh Lord, my God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name, settled. Beloved, I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth from today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let God Almighty reposition you even for success in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you God will give you the grace, the wisdom 
to begin to adopt strategies and even for you to achieve your desired goals in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God will instruct you divinely in the name of Jesus. God will lead you in the way that you go in the name of Jesus. In the name of God will guide you with his eyes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It shall be well with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. From today, it shall be it shall not be business as usual in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will not be lost among the crowd in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The strategy that you need for your work, for your business to be able to achieve greater results. Receive that strategy now in the name of Jesus. Receive that, that, that strategy now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So shall it be in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, set to praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe someone has been blessed so much by God. We have come to the uh, end of today's broadcast to the glory of God. Hallelujah. I want to thank you once again for your patience, for, them, for being part of this broadcast. May the Lord bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is well with you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As we go into this week, may the Lord Almighty God favor you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the goodness of the Lord, may his blessings rest upon you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This week shall be a glorious week for you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. It is well with you. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Settle. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we share the grace and fellowship? May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I hope to see you again uh, next week, 6 p.m. EST, to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Shall we sing to an anthem? O God of glam, we praise your holy name in our midst. Forever you are Lord. Covenant keeping Father, God of our revival, guide us in all our ways, revive our souls again from now eternally. Amen. Let's give God three powerful hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you once again. God bless you. I love you with the love of Christ. See you again next Sunday in Jesus' name. Have a blessed week in Jesus' name. Amen.